Examinations finished the term at Dartmouth College for 3,000 young men up in Hanover, New Hampshire. The rigor of the past four months of study gets its test. But while various exams are being given, work gets underway outside on the campus for the two days of winter carnival which come every year. When carnival first came into being back in 1911, its purpose was to get students out of the dorms and classrooms. Fred Harris thought that the thrill of winter sports should also be experienced by every student. The first carnival was a local affair with no intercollegiate competition. Now it becomes a focal point of winter sports and activities for college students throughout the nation. Fraternity houses compete to see which can fashion the finest frosty fixture. However, a certain curly-haired piano player might object to this one titled Wailarachi. The famous white brick Dartmouth Row wins the silver cup for the Chi Phi fraternity. At last, with all exams behind, the ladies descend on the campus. And a photo for the album always makes a worthwhile souvenir. It is traditional for carnivals to have reigning queens. The outing club crowned its first queen back in 1928. The lucky dates chosen to compete for the honor run the gamut of judges, spectators, and photographers. The winner is in for a social whirl which will leave her breathless by the end of the weekend. Beauty and personality conquer all, even the other contestants and last year's winner who presents the crown. But the outdoor snow events contain the real spirit of the weekend. Everyone braves the cold to watch such ski teams as McGill, Denver, St. Lawrence, Harvard, University of New Hampshire, and Middlebury. Whether it's your first view of jumping or not, it's always a thrill. cross-country race is as grueling a test as any sport has ever devised. The runner never fails to come home perspiring. The downhill race with its torturous course through tree-lined trails bring important points for the winning team. As finals test the students, the slalom is the greatest test for the finest skier. Here, one of Dartmouth's best runners heads down the slope to capture more points for his team.
You don't have to be a competitor to share in the frosty fun. The whole family gets out for sightseeing. Now you'll be able to prove to the girls that you really were here. No winter carnival would be complete without an ice show. The performers get out early for days ahead as soon as the ice is ready. When evening comes, the crowded amphitheater helps to prove that Fred Harris had the right idea when he first promoted winter sports to get college men outdoors. Eerie lights descending on darkened slopes, torches held high by sure-footed skiers, herald the end of the winter fantasy. Monday may come too soon after such a weekend, but now the new term must begin on schedule. So it's back to classes and books, another spring, another summer, a new school year, and then once again, another winter carnival at Dartmouth College. <laughs>